My name is Daniel Guise. I am the Creative and Technical Director at ED Films, and I'm here today to show you something we've been working on for a while now that we are calling Scene Track. Scene Track is a tool that we've been developing for the last couple of years now. In its current state, you can use it in Unity to capture FBX animation, MIDI data, and video that you can then use in your animation production pipeline. Scene Track is an open source tool that has a lot of potential for further development. It actually operates outside of Unity and runs as its own program that we affectionately call the file temple. What it does is it takes data from one platform, records it in real time, and allows you to convert it to anything else. So if you go to check out our GitHub page, you will see both the scene track and the file temple. The file temple is the core of everything. So with additional work, it can have the capacity to be platform agnostic. We haven't developed other iterations for it at this point, but it is now out there as open source for anyone to use and expand upon. Now we're still really early in our development of this process that uses Unity animation to drive Maya rigs, but we're really excited about the potential and I, we wanted to make sure that we opened it up to everyone as soon as we could so that we could all hit the ground running. Scene Track is part of a solution to a big question for us. How can a small studio with limited budgets, time and resources create artist-driven, world-class animated content? Anyone who is familiar with animation knows how expensive and labor-intensive the process is. Unlike live action, where a director can try many different things on set and build the film in the editing room, there is almost no room for experimentation once the traditional animation production process is set in motion. We operate with very small teams, and much of the success of our past work has depended on the process being iterative and flexible. This is nothing new, but what may be a bit different is that we usually try to over-animate our projects so that we can refine the performance as we go. In the past, I would achieve this by having very responsive, intuitive rigs that blended recorded real-time input with hand-placed keyframes and simple but effective procedural animation scripts. I would do this all in After Effects, but and since expanding our repertoire out from strictly cutout animation into more CG projects, we've been looking at a way to try to duplicate that workflow in the CG world. Now we're still really early in establishing our process for using Unity and Maya together to create performance-driven animation for production. However, I think we're far enough along now to show you a few of the things that we've learned so far. In the next series of videos, I'm going to show you part of our process that we're using Unity and real-time performance to drive more traditional sophisticated CG rigs in Maya and ready them for tweaking and polish where you can really take things to the next level using Scene Track with Unity. So the videos are going to cover the whole process that I've been taking to go from a pre-existing model all the way to a rig running around in Unity back into Maya and binding that animation onto the HIK rig. There are a number of different ways you can do this, but I'm trying to show you the fastest and easiest way that would cater to the least experienced Unity user and somebody with only moderate experience in Maya. The second set of videos will go into a little more depth in using other third-party plugins to enhance the performance experience that you can have using characters in Unity. So launching off of that, I think you could probably go pretty crazy to get some really cool animation and start recording multiple takes and puppeteering things in ways we haven't seen yet. So I hope that the following videos are of some use to you and that maybe you can glean some insights in how you can use this tool or process for your own productions. I'm really excited to see what you guys do and uh, let's get started.